Thanks, my lady. Careful one, would you? Might it be this one? Perhaps it's this one. <laughs> Thanks. Ah, I think she loves me. Oh, terrible dragon, I slay thee in the name of fair maiden Elizabeth. We're going retro with this Throwback Thursday series, so enjoy the video and you'll get the update in a bit. city of Stonekeep and retrieve the nine receptacles. To protect you from the magic of the darker realm, I must free your spirit from the confines of your body. Achieve your goal, and Stonekeep and I will be set free. Fail, and you shall be entombed by the forces of darkness forever. This is one of the first games that I played on the PC, well, that I completed along with my father on the PC, and um, honestly, this brings back memories. I uh, thought of starting up this new Throwback Thursday thing, where every Thursday I go ahead and play a game, or at least upload footage of a game that I'm playing that, well, nobody would have heard of, perhaps even. Uh, now, but these are games which have been forgotten, which were great during their time and frankly speaking which stand the test of time and are very very relevant today as well. Even though you won't find too many people playing this, it's awesome and it's by far one of the best games that I've ever played. Not just because it's one of the first games that I completed but because it is inherently awesome. So I'll start a new game and we'll see how things work. Take these artifacts to aid your quest. The mystic mirror of Afri will aid your personal vision. And Aquila's scroll will store whatever you may find. Alright, so this is how it looks. It's not really a point and click, you move around in fixed paces. So I'm just pressing the up arrow and the down arrow, the WSAD stuff once and it's pretty, pretty uh, straightforward as far as the movement goes. You can pick up these items and I can place it in this scroll over here which kind of stores all my items. And if I hit this it'll break, there you go. And uh, well, obviously there's a lot of stuff that you get 
why when you break things like this now like I said this is one of the first games that I played and it was amazing it, it was by far one of the most memorable experiences that I've ever had and not only because the game itself was revolutionary for its time but there's a small story that well Interplay was involved in play are the developers of this game by the way. They're now defunct. They now don't exist anymore There's a small story and that really showed how developers cared about the games that they were making Beware Kokum's minions arm yourself quickly Find the stairs leading down so in short, when I open this door, I just need to follow her, but I need to fight that ant that you just saw. Now, this this is awesome. It's just giving me chills. These were enemies which I had seen and which I dreaded when I was a kid. And today, man, it's, they still give the same feeling. So the story that I was talking about, by the way, was... Let me just get to a safe place. I remember there being a safe place somewhere over here. Yep, there it is. Okay, we get stuff over here. So the story that I was talking about was Interplay had taken this game out and it, it, there was a lot of development uh, backlog or something and that's why they couldn't release it on time and it took them ages to release Stonekeep and they finally did it wasn't received too well and uh, well this is a DOS based game by the way as you can see and my father and I were playing this and we could not figure out one of the puzzles in the last level and we wrote to them and this was over email in about 1995 or so 96 I don't remember but we wrote them an email and they just asked for our address. We gave them our address and they sent us a copy of the complete walkthrough, the latest patch and a book which was kind of like the prequel to Stonekeep. And that's a proper novel. It's, it's about a 300 or 250 page novel called Terra's Awakening. Unfortunately, I don't know where that is now, but it was great of them to go ahead and send us all that stuff without any cost in that day and age, just in appreciation of the fact that, you know, someone's bought their game and is asking them for help, because that wasn't a time when you had walkthroughs. You couldn't just go onto the internet and download a walkthrough or something. So it was great of them to do that. That sort of customer service is something that you don't see with game developers anymore. I wish it comes back someday, but I'm pretty sure it won't. And the update here, guys, is that I'll be doing a playthrough of Stonekeep. I'll be uploading a video every Thursday. And ironically, I know I'm not uploading this on Thursday, but going forth, it'll be done every Thursday starting this one and we'll see how it goes this is an amazing retro game it's it's one of my favorite i don't remember much of it except what i've just done right now so that's about it i know i get a suit of armor over here so i, I can like kind of equip myself with armor ah, that's right there you go i've got armor <laughs> so that, that's about it uh, uh, i don't know but maybe i get a gem or something in this no i don't no, I do not. But this this thing has a lot of stuff in it. This has loads and loads of stuff. So if I right click, I can just like pick it up without doing anything. I can read the scroll. Send star troop to Fort Thunder. The throgs are getting restless again. Horses. Whatever that means. And I can store it in my inventory. And there's more to pick up. So the roots, these these guys over here, they increase my health. This is a potion which increases a great increases a greater deal of health, and I can equip him with a knife. So now I'm equipped, and obviously we'll get swords and and loads of awesome stuff and magic and things like that. There's another knife that we find along the way, but let's kill our first enemy, and then I'll stop this recording. We'll go through a full playthrough of Stone Keep. Ooh, where is he? I can hear him. There you 
you are. Hello. Come on. Haha. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, baby. That did it. So we get another knife somewhere over here. That's the last thing that I'll pick up, and I promise I'll stop now. I just just can't just can't control myself. <laughs> That's where we need to go. Huh? I seem to remember there being another knife somewhere. Oh well. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, and this is where we need to go old school as well because there's no auto save. It doesn't just save because you passed a particular point or you haven't saved for too long. So it doesn't save your ass in case you forget to save. Ah, I think this is where we get the knife. So right click puts it directly in my inventory. And yep, there you go. I thought so. Alright. That's the extent of what I remember as far as the game goes. I do not remember anything beyond this. So we'll discover that together in the next playthrough. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more on this Throwback Thursday series. Stonekeep is in the house. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.